Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, where in today's episode we are kind of going to continue our work here in the house, because in the last episode, if you remember, we um, we added this wooden floor and we added this wooden panel here, and we made the ceiling look nice and the walls look nice, and I was talking about making this area over here into a chest storage room, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. Now I think I have everything that I need. I have plenty of wood and I have plenty of iron for iron pickaxes because I'm going to be carving out a room over here. Um, so let's actually get started right away. I'm also thinking, um, in the last episode I checked how far down that went um, and I marked it upstairs with a torch in order for me to see where the edge was um, so I could see when I would be going over the edge and it was right over here okay I was just thinking because if this was a little bit higher I would have liked a window or something to be added over here but it doesn't seem that um, that doable but anyways we are going to expand that little area over there. I'm going to carve out a three or four or five um, block area f taken from the wall right here. So including this one, then four or five that way. So I'm going to make that into a time lapse. I'm going to start right over here. So first things first, one, two, three, four. I'm going to start with four, I think and then go all the way down, no wait, first four over here, so one, two, three, four, and then all the way down this way, so I can see exactly where my border is. Uh, Any time now. There we go. And then I just have to carve out all this. So. I'm going to make it into a time lapse and I will be back once I'm finished and I'll start the time lapse right when I have a new iron pickaxe. So let's just get three iron ingots here and like that and put the sticks like so and iron pickaxe. All right, starting time lapse in three, two, one. Okay, so I decided to go in one further, so we are exactly five into the wall here, or into the mountain, and I'm just gonna place down the floor here, and I thought I might have enough, but I clearly did not. I need a little bit less than what I had to begin with, so let's just make a few more slabs here. Um, I'm not going to make too many, because I am going to need the wood to make all the chests. Now let's just finish this and I can explain my plan a bit. Um, or what's part of plan anyway. Um, yeah, so if we had, I'm just trying to think out loud here. Um, here, 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 
here, then here, 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 here. Yes. Um, my idea is so. Time for a little lesson. If you didn't know, um, let me just make a bunch of wood. Let me just make all of this into that, and then make a bunch of chests. Let me make 16. I'm going to need even more than this, but it will have to do for now. Let me just get, uh, that's then four iron, I think. And I'm going to make what is called a tripwire hook. Now, the reason why I'm making this is because I want to make trapped chests or some of them of these chests into trapped chests. Now, what these do is when you place it and open it, you can see the difference. This one has a red like border around the lock thing here. This one doesn't. Um, at one, and what this does is to em emit a redstone signal once it opens. Um, so that is useful if you want to maybe make like traps or something like that. But it's also useful because if you try to place down normal chests, for example, now I, now I have made a double chest, I cannot place the second one here. At all, I can place them above each other, just fine. But I can't place one right here. But because this is a trapped chest, so it cannot connect to a normal chest. I can place them right next to each other, which is going to be really helpful um, when making a chest room. So you don't have to place like double chest, space, double chest, space, double chest. That would be very inefficient. So I'm making some of them into trapped chests in order to do it like that. Um, oh, that was the wrong type i want a normal chest here then trapped normal trapped give me those back and this is kind of my idea i think for the chest room and i can have two more rows here um and then basically i'm going to add them stack them up on each other and so we have like a tower of three or four, then I just have to do something about the ceiling there so it can open because if there is a full block above a chest like this, I cannot open the chest unless it's something like a slab. I don't know if a stair counts actually. Uh, let's try placing one like that, then it can. What about if I place it like so? Then it still can. Okay, so a chair works as well as a half slab, but a full block does not work. Um, what was I looking for again? I was looking for wood to make even more chests. Uh, three. What's the last one over here? Trapped. Yes. And then that. And then I need to make the last one into a trapped chest. So I actually need one ironing it more. And I need to make that, that, and that two tripwire hooks and I will then do this and this just to get the last chest just so we can get the two last ones there we go trapped chest and boom now then I can maybe put some decorative blocks or something like that in the corner there but other than that that is pretty much it I think this will suffice for my storage um, needs for a very very long time and what I will then do, do we have any leather? Um, no, I don't have any leather at all because what I wanted to make was item frames to place on like maybe the wall or the chest so I can see, okay, this one is for wood, this one is for stone types, this one is for like mob drops, this one is for, um, I don't know, tools and armor, this one is for food, this one is for etc. Um, so I wanted, I, I most likely could have just gone with this wall only and then used the other walls for other stuff. Um, let me just think here. Uh, what time? Stone, monster drops. You know what? It's good to have plenty of um, storage space. So we're going to stick with this for now. I think I can always move stuff around. Um, what I will quickly do, is it night time? Yes, let me just sleep and then I will go and gather a bunch of more wood and see if there's any cows nearby so that I can maybe get some leather. Um, 
I don't think there's a way to get leather other than from a cow. Oh, hello. I I seem to remember that you could um that you could uh cook or smelt or burn rotten flesh and then make it into leather, but I'm pretty sure that's a mod. Um that enabled you to do that, so yeah, that's not it. Um yes, Minecraft does have a bunch of mods that adds a bunch of stuff to Minecraft. Um really love using them, but this is a survival world, no mods here, as I said in the very first episode. Give me a string. Um I think I'm just going to the swamp, really. It's the closest. I don't need birch wood at the moment. So I can just go with oak wood. Um, so, yeah. Let me just cut some wood and I'll be right back. So, I think I'm going to do it over here. Yeah. Over here in this general area. Let's just try and climb this tree. Yay! Oh, is that a desert over there? Um, I'm curious now. I really want to do um, exploration in another episode. So you know what? I will not go into that desert even though I really want to. Um, in the next episode, we are most likely going down into the caves again to try and find some maps lazuli so we can do some enchanting. And then... Yeah, I actually don't know what we should do from there. Should we explore or should we head down to the nether? Let me know what you think if you have any ideas. Um, we can either go exploring in the overworld or we can go down to the nether and get stuff there. I don't know what's best, to be honest. I will have to think about it. So if you have any suggestions, comment down below your su suggestion and maybe I'll get a brand new idea I haven't even thought of. So, yeah. I really love feedback. Let's see, I already have half a stack already. So this shouldn't take too long, really. I think I could just have gone for the one wall and then use the other two to maybe expand into other rooms or just for decoration or stuff like that. Um, so I might change it off camera when I'm not recording, if I get a new idea or something like that. But for now, I think I'm going to keep it as is. Um, I think, anyway. I think because, well, when you play a lot of Minecraft and you play in a world in a very long time, you get a lot of items, um, such as stone, wood, and stuff like that. You get, you get a lot of it. And then you need a lot of storage to um, carry all that stuff, or to store all that stuff. But I don't think my needs goes that far to for me to need a full chest room like that with all three walls with chests. I don't think that is necessary in my case, so it might just be to um, overdo it. But I'm not 100% sure. Also, in this case, if you have any suggestions or comments, be sure to leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll leave it uh, for now, and then I think I will then, th I will then think about it for the next episode. Or maybe even longer than that. We'll see. Um, so I didn't even look after cows. Oh, well. I need leather a lot. I guess that's another reason to go exploring. There's a lot of stuff we can find in the overworld, such as ocean monuments, desert temples, dungeons, all that sort of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I think we might do that and wait with nether, but I'm not sure. Again, leave your comments down below. Um, I don't know, should I just add the extra chest layers, or should I wait so I don't waste all my wood? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to change it right away. I know this episode is a bit long, but um, I think I'm going to stick with the one wall for now, actually. Just because it's easier to expand a chest room other than moving a chest room around. Because had I let these chests be, if there was a chest here and here, 
I would like it to be flush with the wall, then I would need to move this chest one block over, next chest one block over, etc. And that would be be a, that would be a real pain to do, um, as the chests when you pick them up doesn't save their content. So I think I'm just going to stick with this wall. So that gives me six rows, and then I can even like do, like um. Like that, that is for one thing, and then the next one is for the next thing. Yeah, I think this will suffice for my needs um, plenty. Uh, where should I put all the nice lights now? Uh, let's do it like that, like that, and like that. Yeah, that should light it up pretty nice. So it's just two, whoops, it's just two more chests over there. One, two, trap, then two full chests. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's just convert half of that wood and take this out, place that there, get an iron ingot and make eight chests, that's plenty, and yes, and then do that, 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 tripwire hook, make two of those into trapped, go right over here, and Place that there and normal chest there. Okay, I think that will do it. So there we go, our chest room. I think I will just put that torch up a bit. There we go. Yes, our new chest room. So it's not fully completed. We still need to add chests up here. I'll do that off camera so I don't waste um, your time with it. So I'll, I might remove this and replace it with stairs or slabs, I don't know. Um, and then in the future we will add like item frames here so we can put an item in to indicate what's in this specific chest. Then we could, okay, we cannot do it on the wall because it's only these that has a wall. Um, but then we could do it in this corner and then these two chests would be for one specific thing. For example, stone and food, etc. Um, yeah. So I think I will call it an episode. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.